of Christianity is not just in what we teach about Christ and the resurrection and the reliability of the scriptures. The truth of Christianity is also the way we live. And so often people reject what we say because of the way they perceive that we live that truth out. In Christianity, the two must go together. You know who emphasized that so strongly? The Apostle Paul. Now think of this. When you go back to why did they have such an impact in the world, uh, in the early church? Is it because they proclaimed the gospel, they preached the truth, and they hammered it home? Well, that was part of it. But look at what the other major part was. And Paul emphasizes this in 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 8, where it says this, Having so fond an affection for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God. You say, see, preach the truth, preach the gospel. Wait a minute. Not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives. Paul said, by the way you live is as important by the way you teach or preach about Jesus Christ. In that same book, in the first chapter, verse 5, Paul again emphasizes the same thing. He says, and you know that the way we lived among you was further proof. Further proof of what? Now notice what he's saying. The way you act, the way you behave, the way you treat others is further proof, now get this, of the truth of our message. Paul is saying the way we live and the way we teach about Christ must coincide together. If they don't see it in our lives, then they have a right not to believe it when we proclaim it. In Romans 15, 18, Paul drove this home again. He did it over and over again in the New Testament. Paul said, I have brought my children to God by my message. You say, see, teach your children the truth. But wait a minute. Paul says, I brought my children to God by my message and by the way I lived before them. There shouldn't be any discontinuity between what we believe and the way we live. The witness of a Christian is combining the two in relationships. And often that is where we fail in the world today.